Hello, welcome to my very first video. Um, I don't know what there is to say. Uh, today, it's August 30th, 2021. It's a 423. Um, I recorded a video previous to this at around four o'clock. Um, but I feel like I can articulate myself a little bit better. <laughs> um, I might post the other video since that's just how I was feeling at the moment. But now that I've got, I got a little bit of that out. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to go in circles about everything that frustrates me or... I don't, I, I don't want to be a victim. And to me, that's kind of looking back, that's how I felt like it was coming off in my other video, just kind of like a victim. And that's not my goal. Because part of my frustration is the fact that I feel like, and have felt like, a victim. Um, I guess first things first, this channel is about getting back to basics. So the basic universal theory, it's to me, We, we began somewhere, and some people want to say God, some people want to say evolution. It really, Big Bang, it really doesn't matter. We came from somewhere, and regardless of what you want to believe or not believe, if we take all that away, just peel off the layers, just like Shrek said, just peel off the layers, we'll find the core. And I. I'm almost certain, with a, a wild a certainty, faith you might call it, that that core will be similar with all of us. Our, our purpose, the things that drive us, that just that underlying subconscious thing, I believe will be the same. Obviously, there's going to be factors in our lives, just like everything else, that you know, skew us one way or the other. Essentially, it's all the same. Just like with, regardless of what you believe in, whether you believe we have one creator, or the Big Bang, or evolution, we're all tied in some way, shape, or form. From the smallest animal, the biggest elephant, whatever. And that's something I feel like we're all forgetting. Because it's convenient to. I'll say, um, in America, that's all I can speak for, it's very convenient to forget the basics because everything's essentially taken care of. We can go to the grocery store and get our food, go somewhere and pump our fuel, you know, hop in the car and drive wherever and do whatever, go to a job, spend some hours, some time to get a, a paycheck at the end of the week or the end of the day or every two weeks, every month. And It's making us stupid. It's making us lose touch with our humanity. The, the things that actually give our life meaning and purpose. Now, I'm not saying that, oh, well that means we should just all live like the Amish. No, I'm sorry, I love video games too much. I enjoy <laughs> being able to get in the car and go somewhere or go to the arcade or go out to a restaurant to eat. I don't have a single issue with any of those things, but I acknowledge if we're not mindful of, if we just sort of go with the flow, we're gonna lose ourselves. And I believe we already have in a great way, in a very, very unfortunate way. And I just want us to get back because at this rate, we are not going to survive. We are going to be obliterated. Nature is going to run its course and we're gonna get left behind and it's going to be our own fault. So, if anything I say can, can help someone maybe not feel so anxious or so lost or so confused or just for a moment maybe feel like someone relates and understands that that's worth it. Um, right now, 
feel frustrated and sad. Um, we've got so much opportunity in this country and it's getting thrown away. And to sit back and look at what's happening right now. And I don't care where you lie on, on the political scale or, or any scale that ever existed ever. Put, take all the scales, put them all together in a pit, and all the ideologies and ev everything. Just take it all and throw it in a pit. All that shit, I do not care about. I don't. Because it doesn't fucking matter. Because whether you're man, woman, other, whether you're gay or straight, whether you're left or right, Democrat, Republican, it, atheist, Christian, it literally does not matter. Black or white, irrelevant. Because we're all, we all feel, we all hurt, we all laugh, we all love, it, we all have anger. The rest of this shit is just cannon fodder as far as I'm concerned. And I feel right now we are in the depths of, of a battle against everything trying to obli our, obliterate our basic fucking humanity. So, I'm, I'm so sick of looking at stuff that's so simple. Our dealings with other countries. What even is happening at all? And we have a nice little oligarchy, a little nice little conundrum, a collection of people that they're the experts, they're the professionals, they're the ones that know everything, we're just stupid. Do you like feeling like that? Do you like feeling like, well, you know, this so-and-so senator is smarter than I am, and they know more, and I just have no business even, even representing, you know, my needs for me and my family, or even my county, my street, that if you've got a pothole, you live in a on a street and the street is littered with potholes and you're like hey we've got a whole bunch of potholes out here let's get everybody on the street together that probably is tired of getting their car tore to pieces <laughs> going over these potholes that only get worse and let's take it to whoever and hey we need some funding so we can get someone down here a contractor to fix the potholes in the road you'd think that'd be an easy thing or use it for anything really whether it be guardrails or whatever, just we're talking, and I maybe maybe bringing up some infrastructure is actually a good point to bring up right now, considering the circumstances. But let's just put it out there. That's an issue, and it sits there for years. I can tell you in my hometown, there's one, there's tons, but there's one road, very popular road, that kind of runs through the town, very small town. So the the legal legislation whatever it shouldn't be that hard to make it happen but the road is horrible my whole time living there my whole childhood it only got worse and they would maybe fix a couple of potholes pour some sh in it and go on they would build up stuff clear out whole areas that that would that road would be one of the main roads to get to and build up all kinds of stuff do you think they fixed that darn road i the last time I was down there, this year, but I don't know if I went that way. I don't think I did. But the last time I went down there, at least last year, that road was still hot garbage. I'm 31 years old. This is ridiculous. These are people we give the power to, and this is in a very small town. I'm talking about with like one stoplight, okay? These are the people we give this power to. And we all know, Go to the DMV or anything where you have to have government assistance or help, you know it's a crapshoot. You either get angry, upset people, or you get frustrated, overworked, or tired people, or just people who don't give a crap, and then you've got to fucking wait. And then when you wait, you still got to check back because they haven't done something or they need something that they could have told you from me. It's a mess. It's a mess. And then they make laws and legisl legislation and rules for us to follow and if a person says, I don't know, man, that sounds kind of crazy. All you need is Fox News or CNN or MSNBC or any news source to come up and say, well, how dare you think that these people are the professionals? And they're like, 
Oh yeah, they're the professionals. How dare you? Excuse you? Then don't bitch about the DMV or any government or the IRS or anything like that because they're your overlords and they know better than you. So just sit down and shut up and take it, right? This is the BS that we're existing in right now. And I, for one, am tired of it. And I have a mind to think that a majority of at least Americans are sick and tired of it. Now that does not mean that everybody wants to start rising up. Who has time for that? They've made sure we don't have time for that because we have to work two jobs and we gotta take care of our families and then do everything else it takes with keeping this stuff maintained. No one has time for that. And I would argue no one wants to do that. Not really, we just wanna live and be happy take care of our family and hang out with our friends and enjoy the fruits of our labor. It's what America's supposed to be about, right? The American dream? Well, that American dream has been taken, hang, drawn, and quartered, and we're left with the aftermath. This is BS. It's unnecessary. We need to be self-sufficient. We need to look inside ourselves and see who we are and what we want and what we actually believe in, not what other people tell us to believe in. We have every right, we the people, have every right to stick up for ourselves. If we have a crappy road with crap tons of potholes, we have a right to have it fixed. If it's making our lives harder, if it's destroying our cars and our tires, we have a right in costing us more money, plus the taxes that are supposed to go to fixing the road, you know, you see what I'm saying? It's, it's a snowball, and it's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'm only 31 years old. I can only imagine how much of this crap, how deep we are in this ish. Now, some of you will probably disagree with me on a, a level because you don't like my politics. I, again, that pit, throw all that shit in the pit because it's irrelevant. This isn't about politics or who you like as president couldn't matter, don't care, or who you don't like. This is about you being able to stick up for yourself, about you being able to say, hey, you're bullying me and I don't need that nor deserve that, and, and being able to be heard. And all this while, that's all any of us ever want. And instead of our wonderful government that is supposed to represent us, their constituents, listening to us and our needs, they push us to the side and tell us our enemy is somebody else. Your enemy is that black person over there. Your enemy is that white person over there. Oh, your enemy is that Muslim. Your enemy is that Hispanic. Your enemy is that Christian. Your enemy is that non-believer. Fuck all that. Isn't, that. isn't that convenient for them that they can push off the blame? Mighty fine gaslighting. Screw that. Anyway. All this to say, we can do better than this. We can do better than the garbage our government pushes down on us. Look at how many small communities to come together and do, and do stuff. Now, that does mean that we're going to actually have to look at what we have going on and change it. And it's not going to look the same. It's not going to be easy. It's most probably not going to be that fun. But we either do that now or live with, or have our children and grandchildren live with the consequences. Maybe even us live with the consequences if it gets really bad enough. And that doesn't mean that there's some overarching secret government. Or maybe it does. It really doesn't. Again, all that, all that, those thoughts and fantasies and ideas are in the pit because they don't matter. I'm talking human to human. You and me, you know that you don't deserve this crap. Doesn't matter where you sit. You know you don't deserve this crap. You know you don't have to spend every day fighting to feel like a person. And there are lots of people that benefit off of you feeling like you have to fight and finding some random enemy who feels exactly like you do to push the blame on. And then what do we do? Then we're all mad at each other. And what, do we accomplish anything for all mad at each other? Absolutely not. <laughs>